We have wine from a, a cellar called Raimat with a very innovative system, which is wine on tap, which delivers the wine right from the cellar and with the perfect temperature. And we have orange and pineapple juice. We have some cocktails, but we disable them in this fair. What we are doing with 5G is add functionality way easier than if you had to do it yourself implementing inside the robot. You just connect the robot with 5G and you can access the functionality we have in our network, such as language translation, face recognition. Five G is really the enabling technology, and the reason for that is five G gives you super fast broadband. At the same time, it also gives you low latency. And low latency, in, in kind of regular terms, is it's just fa the connection super fast. So, you can if you're a gamer, you're playing a game with your friend in another continent, and it's happening real time. Now, think about that if you're not a gamer, right? If you want to go to the Foo Fighters, recently had a concert in the metaverse, which is amazing, right? Now you're with all your life friends standing next to each other attending this concert. And it's just happening real time, wirelessly. And that is a kind of a cool future. I think ultimately, the consumer cases have yet to play out but they will, right? If you think about the transition from 3G to 4G, right? 3G was basically like, hey, I can make calls, and 4G, suddenly we're walking around playing with our apps all the time. 5G, I think it kind of remains to be seen. Metaverse will be part of it, augmented reality. But you know what? Where we are in three years, we don't know. Communicated is possible. So, our model is possible uh, streaming. Our guardians also know position and our uh, status. For example, accident or status is possible as so our safety is also known. So, my family and my friends also know that. We're seeing it evolve and grow as we go along. We're seeing, at one time, it was thought, well, where does the value lie within 5G? But as it's being deployed and as the use cases are growing, and, we, and particularly through the digital transformation that we've seen during the pandemic, we're seeing the use cases for 5G grow. You know, the use of um, MEC and tech um, connectivity within 5G networks, the, the emergence of the metaverse, which could potentially be the largest use case of um, 5G out there with the low latency, the high data bandwidth. It has been behind those other markets. I think North America in particular, the US operators have been steamed in and, and had a really, really good start with 5G. I think in Europe, it's more steady than spectacular. Um, we heard some updates last week from operators like uh, Deutsche Telekom and, and Telefonica. It's, it's progressing well. Coverage is, is certainly ramping up, but it's not to the extent of, of 4G, which was much quicker out of the blocks. There's a real need and incentive for 4G technology to, to, to push on. So it's, it's, it's moving, but it's not as fast as in other, in other regions.
we already have introduced new type of antenna, creating a premium experience for our customers. And now we are preparing the second step, what we call 5G SA standalone. We are separating 5G from the old generation. And through that, you could have immersive experience and what you can already see here on our booth. We are running out uh, in uh, um, all our now operation in uh, in Europe. We are in uh, in correct speed right now. So moving from urban areas to more suburban and rural areas. So step by step, we are covering uh, the different countries.